Hello everyone, this is Vintage File Alarm Guy. Happy File Alarm Friday. Today we're doing system test number 18. Yep, so let's get started. So obviously panel, nothing's changed except NAC2 is disconnected and I'll explain why later in this video. So last test we did the electronic four and L3s, which is the 9238 and 9254. I took those devices down and I put up um, two two different 4 now 3s and plus they're not red, they're actually white 4 now 3s So, um, what devices are they? Well, you will see later on this, in this video after we go to run the chain devices. Over here, I still do have the 4251-21 from last test, still by the panel. We still do have the simplex wiffle ball smoke from last test, this has not swapped out. Except I might swap out the head, I might have to put the Ansel detector back up or something like that. Just in case something, in case this detector size is going to alarm for some reason, because of how bad the head is, so. Yeah, but yeah, this hasn't swapped out from last test. And over here we still do have the Simplex 299-9754 conventional pull station over here. So, that's pretty much our initiating devices, and now the notification appliances. Over here, I have my Simplex 4 now 3 9242 white electronic horn strobe. It's exactly the same as the 4 now 3 9237 except it's the white version because this is 30 candela. Yep, I'll tell you what, these are pretty rare, so they're not common devices. So yeah. So yep, that is the um, first notification appliance on the system. And over here, we have a very very rare for an L3 that I think I'm like, first of all, I think I'm like the only person that has at least this model, at least, um, a model of this is for an L3 9221. This is a electromechanical horn strobe in white. Yes. This is a white electromechanical horn strobe. It's not electronic. It's not a speaker strobe. It's electromechanical. Huh. This device is pretty rare to be honest. Like, this and the and that horse show over there, they're pretty rare devices. So, yep, I actually know um Simplex Farm guy. He has the he has the four now three nine two twenty two, which is thirty candela, and uh, MSJ um nineteen nineteen sixty one also has the nineteen twenty two. I have the nineteen twenty one, which is fifteen candela. So, so yeah, it's a pretty rare device, pretty uncommon. So yeah. But anyway, like that being said, let's go ahead and we'll activate the system. Start off with the 4251-21. If you have epilepsy, don't watch. Here it goes. Wow, that's pretty loud. <laughs> Tell you what, that's a pretty cool arm, to be honest. <laughs> All right, reset. Now we will do the how will do the smoke detector. Let's get my magic already ready here. Go on top, and we will activate the wiffle ball smoke. Here it goes. Man, that thing is pretty noisy to be honest. Yep. Um, maybe we'll go outside once we pull this pole station here. So, see how loud it is from outside. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and finish off um, activating the system by using the 299-9754. Here it goes. That's pretty loud. Pretty loud on my side. Wow. 
Wow, that is pretty loud. Holy cow. <laughs> yep. White foreign L3s, one electromechanical, and electronic one. I'll tell you what, this thing sounds quite amazing, to be honest. Not bad for a white foreign L3. I'm really glad this panel outputs filter DC, which sounds so nice. And I'll tell you what, this thing sounds so nice on filter DC. You know, that stuff is pretty awesome. So, yeah. So the reason why I have um so before we end this off the reason why I have neck to um this um disconnected from neck from the neck uh, terminals is because I I actually have these on two wire operation um the jumpers aren't cut on these yet so but I don't want to cut the jumpers on these so I decided I'm gonna do like a two wire operation for these devices and plus you know I don't want to do any like two any four wire audible silence so. That's why I have NAC2 dis disconnected, so. But, yeah, that's pretty much wraps up for System Test uh, 18. If you all enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel.